There we go. What? What is... What? You see that, man? He's just shooting away after he died, like, for a good three seconds. What was that about? What was that about? What's good, humans of Earth, and welcome to another Friday. Today we have the newcomer, uh, Agent 8, otherwise known as Modon, the new intern to the channel, and the Octoling representative for the channel, I guess you could say, in addition to Retro. So after coming from the Deep Sea Metro, she's made her way to Inkopolis Square, and uh, I guess gotten involved in some turf wars. Uh, I'm not quite confident enough to bring her to ranked modes just yet. So this is a perfect time to showcase what turf war is all about. The most basic mode in the game. Uh, let's just let's just hop right on into it. All right, and we're here uh, at the kelp dome. Boom, let's go. So Turf War is the most basic mode in the entire game. It's the first and only mode that you start with as soon as you get the game right out of the box. And uh, it's the most easy mode to understand with this kind of with the kind of gameplay that Splatoon offers. You paint the ground as much as possible, and uh, that's pretty much it. The team with the most amount with the most ground covered by the end of the game uh, wins. In addition to that, we're also playing with the most basic weapon and the first weapon that every player in the game gets uh, as a starter weapon, the Splattershot Jr. They, they actually start you out pretty well, pretty well off to begin with. Boom! Uh, got snuck right through the armor. So yeah, they honestly start you off with a pretty not bad weapon at all. I've seen a lot of people from Splatoon 1 and in Splatoon 2 uh, main the Splattershot Jr. all the way up until the higher ranks in ranked modes. Uh, with good reason, uh, the Splattershot Jr. got a pretty decent buff earlier in Splatoon. Uh, the Splattershot has decent fire rate and a really decent kit as well. It has the bombs, which are just like standard grenades, splat bombs. Uh, you can roll them along the ground to have them explode a little bit faster, or you can just throw them in the air to give them more distance. And then there's Ink Armor, uh, which is right now the best special in the game. Essentially giving you almost like a completely new health bar. There's never a bad time to use ink on the well, except for there where I just used it right as somebody else used it. Yeah, all things considered, uh, this is really the, the long and short of what, what Turf War is, what it has to offer. Oh wow, that was really close. 46.7 to 46.5. So you'll notice those numbers don't actually add up all the way to 100%. And uh, that's mostly because it's not possible to paint 100% of the map. There are all these little nooks and crannies and edges that are pretty much uninkable. It's more of a competition to see who gets more as opposed to adding up all of them to 100%. Here again. Hey, wait a minute. Did somebody just disconnect? Oh. This is going to be very interesting. Typically speaking, 3v4 games don't end up going too well. Uh, I could have definitely done better in that interaction. Coming for you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you missed. I, 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 uh, oh, okay. Boom. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, uh, no, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. To be honest, just knowing that there's, like, one less player just already is, uh, demoralizing. Oh, got you. I I'm about to get got. Come hither. If I'd only had enough ink to throw a bomb. That was everybody, man. Ah, I see. I, I hit you. I hit you. No, you are not. No, no, no. What? What? Oh, oh. See, I can't even really leave spawn. Like, look, they're over here throwing hammers and stuff. 
Maybe I can do something cool with this with this armor now that I have it. That's one. That's two. Ah, oh, I might have been able to get through. And as a surprise to absolutely no one, uh, we lost. <laughs> we lost. We didn't have our arrow spray, which is actually a really important weapon for Turf Wars. Getting closer to filling in that last little ability chunk down there. This is honestly pretty relaxing. No rank meter in sight. I don't have to worry about playing at my absolute hardest to keep my rank or anything like that. Or worry about anything competitive. I can just kind of chill. Shoot the ground and ink and turf and whatnot. Huh? That didn't kill? What? This guy's giving me the good old runaround, man. And he still got destroyed. Ah, there you are. Now I got the armor, man. There we go. What? What is... What? You see that, man? He's just shooting away after he died, like, for a good three seconds. What was that all, what was that all about? Whoop. Uh... Oh. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, based off of what we just saw. All right, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully, we shouldn't get another disconnect anytime soon. Let's go. Oh, no, not another either. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Hi, how are you? Oh, uh, uh, dude sent the slosher after me. So typically speaking, for higher level players like me, people who are like an X, uh, or even an S plus and other ranks. Turf War is more used as a uh, as a grinding mode. It's a stress free mode that you can kind of just use to get abilities that you want for your gear. Considering that there are no stakes, uh, it's pretty easy to see why people would prefer to use this over ranked modes for getting better abilities for their gear. Whoop! They wanted me specifically, man. Ah, uh, no, I saw that. I probably could have canceled that one if I just looked up, but, uh... Yeah, it is what it is. There you are. Where are you going, boy? Come on. Wait, they dropped out. Whoa! Ah, oh, there I go. I mean, I'm not expecting anything particularly spectacular out of Turf Wars. Uh... Almost, almost. Oh, they ran away. All right, cool. This whole middle area is mine. Not sure where uh, where they thought they were going. Being an e-leader, they probably should stay back and uh, focus more on getting kills. I totally flipped that up by throwing the bomb against that wall there. But you didn't see that. Yeah, exactly 10 points, huh? Hey, there we go. Mobility and... Okay, quick super jump. Nice. Oh, back here for like the 80th time. Alright, let's do it all again. And one thing to note about Turf Wars is that they, uh... They also go a little bit quicker than uh, ranked modes. Whereas ranked modes can take, uh, 5 plus minutes. Turf Wars only are locked to 3. And there's no way to extend it. There is no overtime in Turf Wars. It's just those three minutes, what can you do? How much how much ground can you cover? Oh bomb rush. I thought they fell right into my bomb for a second. But oh! Alright, armor. Yeah, come at me now. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. Don't come at me. Matter of fact, you get out of here. Okay, too paying too much attention to that ink jet there. Turf War is not all about kills. I mean, they help. Uh, a kill can set back the team quite a bit, but the focus should be on staying alive more than anything. Where did they just go? I swear they were just like right in front of me and they just disappeared. Did I just accidentally get a triple there? Sure, bomb behind them and then drop down. Easy way to confuse somebody who is just new to this game. They didn't even capitalize on that. They just like, they just did it and thought that that would that, that would kill me. 
I mean, yeah, it is a little bit unfair considering that I've been playing this game since pretty much since it released. And uh, some people are just now getting the game. So tactics that probably would work on somebody who's newer in the game from a newer player's perspective uh, don't, don't work on me because I, I've seen it all. Huh. I mean, there is not much that I could say throughout that last bit of the game. It was just kind of easy. This is quite a quite a change in pace. I'm not used to have just kind of going into autopilot so much. Oh, finally, some variation at long last. Boom, let's go. So, for brand new players uh, to the game, uh, inking walls doesn't really contribute much to your overall points. They're good for mobility, but in terms of actually like winning the game, the floor is the main focus. I mean, realistically speaking, like at the end of each round, we look from a top-down view. So, realistically, it makes sense that that's the main focus of the mode. And I, I, to I totally should have killed you, though. Can I get revenge? I, I can't get revenge. Are they coming from this side? No, they're coming from... Oh, no, that's not them. I don't think. Uh, it's just the slosher. Yeah, get out of here, man. No, 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 don't, don't, don't kill me. Yeah, help me out, help me out. Let's get rid of them together. I don't know where he went. Got him, let's go. Well, now, now you know where I am. Oh, he took care of him, nice. Coming over to help cover this ground. Oh! That was, that was a good catch. I didn't notice until it was much too late for me. Oh, I got that kill by accident. Just needed a bomb back there and it happened to do something. I wonder how we did. Didn't look at the map much. I don't think I'll need Judd or Little Judd to tell me how we did. Yeah, we, we won. Top of the team. So real quick, just wanted to showcase some functionality that you can do with these, uh, with these abilities. You can go and talk to this guy, Merch. And uh, he's got quite a quite a bit of different things that you can do. Uh, some of these things, most of these things I probably won't talk about, but uh, what I am going to talk about are slot scrubbing. So considering that in those last couple of rounds, I got some new abilities. I got a new ability added to the shirt. Uh, it takes up this slot. Uh, what I can do is I can have them, I can have merch here remove all of these. And what I can do is after accumulating a certain amount of these, use them to put on a new gear, a new piece of equipment, like a like a hat or a different shirt, if I want to. Now, the way that this game works is a grinding system. You get rid of one, but it takes ten to put one in slot one, and I think fifteen in slot two, and then twenty or twenty-five or something like that in slot three, which means in order to get gear that is completely loaded in the ability that you want, it takes a lot of grinding. Remember that every time you grind from an already existing piece of gear, it's only those one or two that you're getting from there. And you need 10 at least, I'm pretty sure, for the first slot. And then that builds upon each extra slot that you want to add something else. Now, personally, I'm pretty content with what I have, so I'm not going to ask him to scrub them. But it's just a little neat thing that I wanted to showcase, considering that this gear had gone unused for quite some time, and I just got something new for it. So, anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, got to showcase the newcomer Modon a little bit. Hopefully, she had fun participating with the most basic weapon in the most basic mode. And hopefully, next time I use her, uh, she'll be she'll be useful in some in some ranked matches. So, with all that being said, that's it. See you next Friday.